Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Ultimate Java. In this video, we will see about the countdown latch. What is countdown latch? A synchronization aid that allows one or more threads to wait until a set of operations being performed in other threads completes. A countdown latch is initialized with a given count. The await methods block until the current count reaches zero due to invocations of the countdown method, after which all waiting threads are released and any subsequent invocations of await return immediately. This is a one-shot phenomenon the count cannot be reset. A countdown latch is a versatile synchronization tool and can be used for a number of purposes. A countdown latch initialized with a count of 1 serves as a simple on-off latch, or gate all threads invoking a wait wait at the gate until it is opened by a thread invoking countdown. A countdown latch initialized to end can be used to make one thread wait until n threads have completed some action, or some action has been completed at times. A useful property of a countdown latch is that it does not require that threads calling countdown wait for the count to reach zero before proceeding, it simply prevents any thread from proceeding past an await until all threads could pass. Await method of countdown latch class causes the current thread to wait until the latch has counted down to zero unless the thread is interrupted. If the current count is zero then this method returns immediately. If the current count is greater than zero then the current thread becomes disabled for thread scheduling purposes and lies dormant until one of two things happen. The count reaches zero due to invocations of the countdown method or some other thread interrupts the current thread. If the current thread has its interrupted status set on entry to this method or is interrupted while waiting then interrupted exception is thrown and the current thread's interrupted status is cleared. Here is the example. Other methods of countdown latch class. Countdown decrements the count of the latch, releasing all waiting threads if the count reaches zero. If the current count is greater than zero then it is decremented. If the new count is zero then all waiting threads are re-enabled for thread scheduling purposes. If the current count equals zero then nothing happens. Get a count, it will return the count like how many more latch is available. So basically use the method for testing and debugging purpose. Let's implement. Let's first implement a simple example of countdown latch. Let's create a new package and package name ends with latch. Let's create a new class called simple latch example 1. Let's do class service 1 and service 2. Let's create countdown latch object. Add countdown latch reference in both the class. After print log, call countdown method of latch. Create two threads one for service one and for service two. After that call await and countdown method. I hope you got little idea about countdown latch. Let's run and see it's working or not. Every time run method call countdown method called. We set countdown latch to every time when thread run count will down by one. Let's create a new class called simple latch example 2. 
Let's implement Blotch some other way. This time countdown latch object contains four. Create a new class called worker endless class extends thread class. Override run method. Add some basic logic. That's it, let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working, I hope you got the idea. Let's implement the complicated example. Let's create new package and package ends with latch2. Create main class. Create a new class called Base Health Checker. Let's implement Runnable Interface. Override Run Method. Create some variable like Latch and Service Name. Create a constructor for both the variable. Add get method also for both. Add one abstract method so because of that need to add abstract for the class also. Let's add some basic code. Create a new class called Cache Health Checker. Extends Base Health Checker. Override Constructor. Override Verify Service Method. Inside this method sleep thread for 3000 milliseconds. Create a new class called Database Health Checker. Follow up the same thing as we did for Cache Health Checker. Inside this method sleep thread for 2000 milliseconds. Create a new class called Network Health Checker. Follow up the same thing as we did for Database Health Checker.
Inside this method sleep thread for 2000 milliseconds, create a new class called Application Startup Utils. We will make this class as a singleton. Create a new method for check service health. Set countdown latch to 3. Create an array list for services and add all three service classes which we created. Use the new fixed thread pool for 3. Iterate services and execute one by one. Added required changes as we did earlier. Let's run and see it's working fine or not, see it's working. Let's review whatever changes we added. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.